not quite a case of all roads leading to Henley, but no matter how they came, the attraction of the Royal Regatta, the sunshine, the prospect of seeing the world's best oarsmen in action, and a day by the river, brought the crowds and even a dog up the Thames. Underway in the Double Skulls Challenge Cup, with the German pair representing TSC Berlin nearest the camera, racing against the British crew from the Leander Club. It's exciting for some, but too energetic for others. Nearing the finishing line, TSE Berlin were well clear. They won by three and three quarter lengths. Fashion has always struck a major note at Henley, and this year was no exception, even if it was Carnaby Street style. Some were really with it, others were almost without it. to the racing. The Thames Challenge Cup finals contested between Harvard University, nearest the camera, and Isis BC. Despite a strong effort, the Americans held off the challenge. Not quite a photo finish, Harvard won by three quarters of a length. Whether they went for the sport or for just a day out, this year's Henley provided the answer. But for the Harvard crew, the tradition of ducking the cocks became a free-for-all. Over to Wimbledon, where the weather was set fair for the men's singles championship. And battling it out on the centre court, Manuel Santana of Spain and America's Dennis Ralston. Point to Santana. Ralston serving. For both men, their first Wimbledon final, every point won bringing the hope of victory near. In the Royal Box, Princess Marina and Princess Anne. Now it's Santana serving. This rally shows the Spaniard at his best, forcing Ralston to lob the ball defensively, then calmly returning in match-winning style. <laughs> match point. Santana hammering home his service, and the title almost his. That's it. The Super Spaniard is champion of Wimbledon, bringing the title back to Europe for the first time in 12 years in straight sets. Now it's the turn of the winner. Billie Jean King and Maria Bueno step out before a capacity crowd to contest the women's singles final. The Brazilian girl has won the title three times. The Duke and Duchess of Kent watch as Maria Bueno serves to the 22-year-old American. It's a sparkling rally with the point going to Miss Bueno. <laughs> Billie Jean King serving. A fine smash by Miss Bueno. Mrs. King serving again. This is the way to become champ. Though the title was slipping from her grasp, Miss Bueno still produced some fine tennis. But it was Billie Jean King serving for match point, and with a beautifully placed shot, the coveted title was hers. Radiantly happy new women singles champion living the moment she has dreamed of as she receives the trophy from Princess Marina. It's her greatest day and the ninth time since the war that the title has gone to an American. Mrs. King is Queen of Tennis. From the Queen of the Court to the King of Sports and the Corral, the scene of the Irish Sweeps Derby. With three British entries much fancied, including Epsom Derby winner Charlotte Town as odds-on favourite and Sodium, which ran fourth in the English Classics, out for revenge, there was every reason to expect a grand race. The crowd was full of anticipation as the moment drew near for the off. They were away to a good start with one and a half miles ahead and a prize of over 52,000 pounds at stake.
long way to go. The favourite's tucked in near the back of the field, but he's known for his fast finish. At the two furlong mark, Frankie Durr started to take sodium to the front, showing a surprise turn of speed, which many thought would leave Charlottetown trailing. But they hadn't reckoned on the skill of Scobie Breezley. One furlong from home and it's sodium in the lead. Charlottetown challenging strongly. The double derby win is still a hope. But a brilliant ride by Jockey Durr held off the threat. The victor, Sodium, a great horse. He beat Charlottetown as his trainer, George Todd, said he could. For England, first and second place with the Irish Colts, Pave third. Thank you.